All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the video is He Died 40 Years Ago. Now his children confirm the rumors. Let's get it. Desi Arnaz? Let's get it. I love Lucy and she loves me. He helped build a television empire. He made up half the formula of the sitcom genre. He lived the American dream and nearly tore it all down for himself in the end. I don't think any public figure is so full of contradictions quite like Desi Arnaz. Okay. The legend himself and husband to the icon Lucille Ball. But just how was Desi as a father? And how did his thirst for alcohol and women destroy his supposedly picturesque family life? Welcome to Do You Remember? I am Nostalgic Nick. Today we oh, have no. some splaining to do about Desi Arnaz. <laughs> so buckle up. If you enjoy our... Hi guys, really quickly guys. Um, I Love Lucy is probably one of the only shows that I have encountered like from that era be honest here that's because my mother watched it loved it and they collected all the i love lucy things you know right and so i grew up with this type of thing but i have no idea what he has done to uh, make his children unhappy i didn't know that he had uh you know an issue with alcohol didn't know that um but doesn't really change anything that i think about him like that but i'm sure this video may so let's go our deep dive give this video a thumbs up it really helps subscribe to our channel so you never miss a memory but without further ado let's uncover the turbulent life of desi arnaz did desi arnaz come from a wealthy family i don't think desi so arnaz was born all the way in cuba where his father held political office as oh. his home city's youngest mayor and the so yes descendant of some old cuban royalty Oh. In 1933, the Cuban Revolution broke out and totally uprooted Desi's entire family. A violent mob destroyed their entire property and livestock. They lost everything, and Desi barely escaped the fray. His mom went into hiding, and his dad wasn't so lucky. He ended up being jailed. Desi's uncle worked very hard to get him out, and finally the family fled with what little they had to Miami, Florida. Desi, just 17 years old here, Pretty much penniless, and he didn't even speak a lick of English. He and his dad stayed in a garage, and their roommates were rats and roaches. Father or uncle? Because I'm pretty sure you just said his fa the father was jailed. Yes. Of course, everyone remembers their first job. Well, his was working at a local Woolworths. But all the while... Guys, growing up um, on Long Island, uh, they're at, I grew up kind of going to a Woolworths, funny enough. Their first job, well, his was working at a local Woolworths. But all the while, he was mopping floors at Woolworths. Desi Arnaz had hope, and through this whole turbulent phase of his life, the young man became a budding patriot because he knew no matter where he fell in America, he could climb back up. So he let his dreams stay big, turning his sights to showbiz. He slowly built a name for himself, and he introduced the conga line from Cuba to the U.S. clubs. Was Lucy really engaged when she met Desi? No matter what you've done, I forgive you. Love, in all its truly messy forms, defined okay. a truly complicated relationship between Desi and Lucy. They were in love when they met, just not with each other. The year was 1940, and both rising stars crossed paths on the set of Too Many Girls. Guys, have you ever seen Lucy, like, like in the, the 20s or 30s? I have no idea how old she was, bro. I'm going to say I'm gonna say 30s, when she was, like, super young, when she was, like, 20, whatever that was, right? Um, if you've ever seen her, oh, wow, okay, just wow. Boy, Literally. isn't that a coincidence? The two were unlike anything America or each other had ever seen. Lucille tended to date older, taller men. The two started chatting and couldn't stop. They set up a dinner date, crossed paths at the beach, and stuck together like magnets. But they both were in very serious relationships with other people at the time. Desi was with the girl he nicknamed Freckles, and Lucille was outright engaged. But the story goes Lucille broke off the engagement the next day. After wow. that, the couple was inseparable. 
actress Ruta Lee saw Lucille oscillate between an independent woman way ahead of her time and a traditional housewife whenever it came to Desi, stuck together like glue, whether America liked it or not, and some really did not. For one, the couple- I can imagine. People lied about their ages. Lucille was six years older than Desi, and executives would have made a big thing about that. So instead, they made a big thing about Lucille being American born and raised and Desi Cuban. In fact, the higher ups at CBS warned Lucille the American public would never go for a show revolving around a couple like this. But in classic Lucille fashion, she stood her ground and boy was she right. Setting herself and Desi up as the first interracial couple on American TVs. The Supreme Court hadn't even legalized interracial couples yet. It was this first ever mixed couple that showed the world just how successful this television show thing could be. You gorgeous ex Which one of them weren't human? Interracial means alien. Siding woman, you. Why did Lucy and Desi get divorced? Desi and Lucille were in the spotlight like no other couple was before. And behind the scenes of their sweet, idyllic marriage, before, during, and after Desi's time with Lucille, there was a lot of cheating. In fact, right after they began going out, they worked on their own projects before Lucille heard Desi met up with his ex-lover, actress Betty Grable. <laughs> Lucy showed up at his house and told him off. I and bet. then Desi proposed. Uh, but that yeah. was just a band-aid on a persisting flesh wound. Desi's first girlfriend, nicknamed Freckles, never protested even when she knew he was cheating on her with Lucille. That made him feel terrible, but he did it anyway, and that would be a bit of a theme. In okay. his memoir, he said, quote, Even though I might have done some bad things in my life, none of them could have been as bad as what I did to her. Lucille and Desi had conflicting schedules, one wrapping up just as the other one was heading out. This and Desi's wandering eye made romance and intimacy hard to coordinate. And when they tried for a baby, Lucille suffered several miscarriages before they conceived their first child, baby Lucy. And for a while, things did change for the better. Desi and Lucille biographer Bart Andrews asserted, quote, some of Desi's womanizing was alleviated from the moment little Lucy was born. Director I, William good. Asher second. Guys, good. Good, good, good. Listen, you cannot be womanizing and you have a daughter, bro. That's wild. You know what happens to guys who do that? You're going to regret that when she turns 16 or 13, 14, 15. No. Mm -mm. Against this, mm. saying Desi looked you especially stop that. tender in those episodes that immediately followed their daughter's birth. But for some people, success also means more to lose and farther to fall. And Desi began to feel pressures of, well, everything. From family to work, being a sitcom icon and husband to the legendary Lucille Ball, to managing their company, Desilu Productions. Up went the drinking and cheating. It was an open secret that <laughs> Desi's father and grandfather had mistresses, even separate properties to see them at. Those who knew Lucille and Desi knew they could both be a piece of work, which is why the legendary Lucille Ball is also on our real life Hollywood jerks video if you want to watch that one next. One okay. time, Ball saw a magazine that promised the juicy details on who Desi was sleeping with. It went into detail about him and a relative recruiting ladies who were referred to as, quote, cuddle for cash babes, and how the women left, quote, considerably richer. Lucille disappeared oh, into her that's, oh, that's disrespectful. dressing room, came out and told Desi right to his face, quote, I could tell them worse than that. Some of his alleged affairs included dancer Lillian Molieri and actress Patricia Medina, who inherited Lucy and Desi's money. The kids? Before they split, Desi and Lucille became the parents of two, Lucy and Desi Jr., According to daughter Lucy, Lucille balanced and separated her work life and home life, keeping all the zany antics to the stage, and using her mind for organization and discipline at home to run an organized household. Lucy called her mom a list maker, and as for Desi, she says he had a love of life and a sense of humor she called twisted. 
but Lucy inherited her appreciation for music from him and his business sense, operating by some simple rules. If you don't okay. know, ask. There are no stupid questions. Right. Also, hire the right people who can do their job. And like, don't always go for the people who are being like, listen, I, I can do this for $500 when everyone else is saying 3000 If I'm telling you. Hire the right people. Listen, <laughs> budget accordingly. Maybe you can't get it right now. Just wait so you get the adequate service. Cause finally, I live if by you that. don't know what to do, don't do anything. Which actually helped his daughter a lot. Lucy got a front row seat to learning that love is complicated. As for her brother, we have an entire deep dive on his complicated life, so be sure to watch that one next. Oh. Lucy and Desi Jr. inherited some life lessons, wisdom from their parents, and some difficult first-hand wake-up calls, and something a bit more tangible. Lucille set it up so Lucy was a trustee in her estate, then split it three ways between her second husband and her two kids. Did Desi Arnaz ever get sober? Desi's substance abuse exacerbated problems that were already there, like his quick temper, his poor choices, and attitude. It's something that would plague his life and that of his son, but it would also be his son who would help him. Desi's daughter tells how Desi, quote, resisted going into any program for a long, long time. The family didn't want to air their dirty laundry to others. The idea made Desi sick. But so did the alcohol, and so did the death of his second wife, Edith. When Junior saw his dad so downtrodden, he told him, quote, Come on, Dad, you can do this. And that was enough to get Desi on the road to recovery. And Junior was right there with him when Desi said, quote, My name is Desi, and I'm an alcoholic. But sadly, this huge step happened not too, too long late. before Desi would leave this world. Right. What did Desi Arnaz say to Lucy before he died? Not long after getting sober, Desi found out he had lung cancer. But Desi and Lucille's lives were forever connected by that point. Even after splitting, they were forever friends. Lucille's close friend, actress Carol Channing, once said, quote, they spoke so lovingly of each other, you almost forgot they weren't together anymore. <laughs> That's because what Lucille called their unconditional love for each other, that could not die. As she right. puts it, quote, there was forgiveness, there was understanding, there was an appreciation for that other person and what you got from that other person, regardless of the stuff that hurt that never went away. So, does he still had his family in his life when he passed away at 69 years old? December 69 for second 1986 oh so my so wait hold on bro did, did he so Desi Arnaz uh expired on my birthday that's disrespect literally the day I was born the literally 1986 the day I was born he expired that's crazy he passed away at 69 years old December 2nd, 1986. The day I was born. Away in his daughter's arms, while Lucy held the phone and he talked to Lucille, who said the same three words to him over and over. I love you. And Desi said back, I love you too, honey. Good luck with your show. Desi Arnaz's life was an adventure packed with loss and victory, sometimes at the same damn time, and sometimes for our benefit. He was half the formula that revolutionized television. Absolutely. Experimenting with the use of film, introducing the very idea of reruns, and bringing in a live audience to give TV something special. He gave his kids great advice, both as a cautionary tale and as fatherly wisdom. And often, he could have used that guiding voice himself. All right, now we need to hear from you all. Who grew up watching I Love Lucy? What's a great episode you recall? That one was what funny. What surprised you the most about Desi's life? Get in the comments and tell us any suggestions and all things Desi Arnaz. All right, guys. All right, all right, all right. I can tell you right now, none of this changed my mind about him, right? I did not know him as a person. I see this information. I see that he was human, right? He went through things, right? I get that. 
but it's not gonna. Ch- I don't think it changed anything about me, bro. Not how I feel about the specifically what I recall, at least from the show. I mean, yeah. Listen, don't get me wrong. You cannot watch the show with twenty twenty three eyes. Don't do that, because um, then you probably won't enjoy it. Right, you have to just go into it knowing that it was like one hundred and seventy five thousand years ago, and then just be like, listen. This is what it is, <laughs> all right. Um, but all right, listen. You guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day uh, thoroughly.